Hello everyone. Today I will talk about my most used uh, navigation shortcuts in Vim. Uh, here is a summary. I will go to an example and show you show you the uh, individual ones. Okay, the you are probably very familiar with HJK to go up and down. Uh, there is another way to shift the stuff, which is Control Y and Control E. Uh, so. If you do Control E, you can see the cursor doesn't move, but the whole content is moving up and down. And the Control Y mo moves it uh, uh, downward. And similarly, uh, let's say at the beginning you are somewhere here, and you want to uh, make this method to to align up in the middle of the screen. You can do ZZ instead of uh, doing Control e many times or Control y many times. Also, if you want to pull this up to the very top, you can do ZT, which is very convenient. If you want to do uh, pull it down to the bottom, it's ZB, then it's to the bottom. Of course, you can just do it Control e many times, which is uh, more work. OK, another thing is if you want to go to the top, then you do GG, or oh, very beginning. Uh, if you want to go to the end, you do G. If you want to go to the top of the screen, you do uh, H. If you want to go to the bottom, it, uh, uh, the, to the middle, it's M. To the bottom, actually, I don't remember what the bottom is. Uh, there's another key for bottom. Is this Z? Not Z. B. Oh, L. L is to the bottom. Okay. Okay, also in the same line, suppose you want to go to the end, you can do uh, the dollar sign. If you want to go to the very beginning, then you can do zero. If you want to go to the first non blank word, it is underscore. I remember there's another key also go to the first non blank, but I don't really remember what it is because I always use the underline. Okay, there's the next one is uh, uh, moving between methods. Actually, it's moving between blocks, but in Python, the different block corresponds to the method or class definitions. For example, if I do uh, the square bracket to square bracket, it will go to the previous method. Actually, it's the previous block that, uh, that uh, lines up with the current one. So if I do that again, it goes to the previous one, uh, or it goes to the next one. It doesn't. It's not specific to method. If it's class and it's, it lines up that way, it also goes to that one. Yeah, I mean it's not designed for Python, so um, it may be a little bit weird sometimes. Uh, also, if you have different language, it might behave differently. But uh, it will be like some kind of uh, blocks that line up. Okay, then the next one will require uh, a plugin. So it is this uh, square bracket C, forward or backward. It goes to the previous change. So this is specific to Vim, uh, to GitHub repos. So suppose uh, I change this thing. So this will be the only change in this uh, uh, in this code code base. So if I do this C, then it will go here. Let's say we make another change. And then I can go forward and backward between those two changes. OK, uh, Okay. the next one is, uh, is this uh, uh, square bracket G forward and backward. This requires, this requires uh, the COC VM. So basically, you need to have a language server there. And this one will go between the, the errors or warnings. So what is an error? For example, for example, I have two errors here because name two is not defined. Also, this this doesn't make sense. So you can do square bracket G. It will go to the next error. It will tell you uh, this is not defined because this is supposed to be defined here. And also, if you go to the left one, it will if you go to this line. Also, uh, if I go further up, so this one is actually not an error. It is a warning due to some of the typings that doesn't match up. 
This is also very useful if uh, you have a very clean code and you don't have this kind of uh, uh, warnings. Then you will only go to the errors. Okay. Okay, then the next one is uh, Control O and Control I, which is uh, uh, going forward and backward in jump list. So, what is the jump list? It is where your cursor was before. So if I do Control O, it will go to the next uh, previous place, previous place. And also, if I uh, uh, I usually use Control O to go to the previous file. For example, right now I'm in main. Let's say I open another file, uh, Utils, and then for some reason I uh, want to go back to main. So one way to do that is uh, I do Control O, then I go back to main. So it can jump not only within the file, it can also jump to other files uh, if it's in your previous uh, history. Okay, that's all I want to talk about today. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.